Hello everyone, let's begin to basic configuration of FortiGate Firewall Edge Force. Configure the one interface, host name, LAN interface, uh, IP address. That all this basic configuration. Let's start. So default username is admin, password is empty. So hit enter. Then I'll say I'll set up the password admin. Admin. So at first I set up the one interface port one configure system interface edit port one shows set more static IP One nine two one six eight one nine six dot. Okay, I forgot to set set IP one nine two dot one six eight dot one nine six dot one three five. Get subnet max is two five five dot zero. Next, end. Execute film. 192.168.196.2 Okay, it's disabled. So I, I have access. I'll access from the GUI. 192.168.196.135 Okay, sorry, I forgot to have access. Give our access. Configure system interface edit port 1 set auto access http https beam ssh end okay now it access from GUI admin admin So the click on letter. Don't show again. Click on OK. This is the system system information. So we can change the directly host name from click on here or directly go for system settings and change from here. Web office. Firewall. So we can set off the time zone from here. Um, I set off the my time zone because here is eight o'clock p.m. So in my time zone is Kathmandu. Okay. So one interface is our foot foot one. That is the one our one interface. So we can apply change to the now my time zone show the my time okay this is the host name configuration okay so at first i'll configure our one interface go for network click on interface it's the configure host name then configure one interface uh, one interface is port one. So, I'll set up the name. One interface, port one. The role is one. So, I just I already set up. This I'll set up. Just click on OK. Okay, now our first work is done. So, now I go for the LAN. And then this is the port to in directly connected to this PC directly connected to the port 2. And this PC connected through the switch. So it's connected by VLAN and I already it's connected to directly port 2. So I set up the LAN edges to port 2. So create and this 
for VLAN and directly port, port 2 then LAN interface role is LAN I should have LAN put type address on here 192.168.1.1 submit max is 255.255.0 so HTTPS being over access is SSH. TSCP server enable. Click on OK. Then LAN IP address setup done. So I'll check up it. This PC will get IP address or not TSCP IP address. Okay, I it this PC get the IP address one or two. I ping the gateway of this uh, network 1.1. .1. It's it is able to disable. It's internet is not disabled because we didn't set up the NAT. So at first for that we have to set the policy. Go for policy and object first add address. Create new LAN interface would type in network on LAN in network on here. Subnet max is 255.0 slash 24. Interface choose interface is LAN interface. Click on OK. After that, firewall policy. Create the firewall policy for internet access to the LAN network. Create new name LAN interface or LAN network incoming interface is port 2 outgoing interface is R1 interface port 1 so choose I choose the all destination also I choose the all services also I choose all net enable the net to check the net so make it enable it's by default it will enable click on ok and check the pc and get the internet or not still it not getting because we didn't set up the static route at first we have to run this so we can also verify from here execute ping a dot a dot it also, our file also not getting internet access. Execute ping www.google.com. Okay, it's not visible. So, at first, we have to set up static route. Create new. This is the default destination. Address is default. So, I'll set up my gateway on here. 96.2 So R1 interface is port 1. Click on OK. Then verify it from here. Execute in 8.8.8. Okay, it's disabled in running to disable. Execute in www.google.com. Okay, it's disabled. So I'll, um, I'll verify from. Yeah, okay. This PC also get the internet. That's amazing. So our second work is to create the VLAN, assign the IP address, then get the internet access from this PC. At first we have to create VLAN. So create new interface. Yeah, IT VLAN. Name is IDVLAN. IDVLAN interface port 3 is connected to port 3. VLAN ID is VLAN 10. Okay. Also, this is easy to know. The VLAN 10. Its work is LAN. So. IP address 192. I will use the different network to 255.255.255.0 DSCB 
administrative access PIM and SSS. You only give this and enable the DSCP server. And this is the DSCP IP range of this VLAN. This PC should take the IP address from this range. This IP range. Click on OK. So I'll configure this port and this port in this switch. Enable configure VLAN 10 name ID 10. Okay, exit interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. Switch port trunk in gaps encapsulation dot one q is put more trunk says put trunk bill allowed the length 10 no shut down exit do show make edges billion 10 okay it learned from there so i can't consider i come to the port one internet zero slash Okay, your little configuration for one interface. Interface then it's zero slash one way connected to PC. Switch put more access. Switch put access VLAN 10. Now shut down. Link it. So this PC will get DSCP IP or not from VLAN 10. Just verify IP DSCP. Okay, this PC also get the IP address from VLAN 10. I'll ping one and this gateway of this network. Okay, it's pinging. Ping 8.8.8. Still, it's not internet access because we didn't set up the route policy. Go for address, create new address for this. VLAN 10 ID 10 our VLAN is ID 10 VLAN name is so network is 2.0 to subnet max is 255.255.0 slash 24 subnet max that's with VLAN 10 so click on OK create the firewall policy create new name ID 10 that is our VLAN incoming interface is that outgoing interface is our one interface choose all destination also all service also all so net check enable click on ok now time to verify it will access the internet or not ok it's access we did this static route, IP address, LAN interface, one interface, config VLAN. Okay, local username, reset password, and one is inter VLAN routing. It is our uh, is missing. They stay left the Inter VLAN routing. Also, we'll check in here. So, config VLAN also, we did local user create. At first, we did the loop interview and routing. This PC get by bridges is 1.2, and this PC get average to dot 2. So, ping here 192.168.1.1. It's not ringing. From this PC, this network not ringing. From this PC, this network not ringing. Ping 192.168.2.1. Not disabled, okay? So, we have to configure interview and routing in for to get firewall. So, create new policy. I did 10. Milan 2. LAN interface. Yeah. What? What? The buster. The two of Incoming interface is that. 
outgoing interface is LAN port 2. Source also like that. Source address is IT10. Destination port LAN interface. Okay. Services I'll choose all. We don't need NAT. We just want the disable. One to other network. That is the interview land routing. This policy for interview land routing. We disable NAT only for services. So go here and ping. It's not ringing because we we create the policy. We land to into there. So it is disable. And now our policy, next policy is disable this PC from this PC. So we create new policy. Then interface to IT 10. Incoming interface is LAN for 2 outgoing interface is LAN 10. Same source is our LAN interface. Destination is 10. Then services all. Disable net. Click on OK. So verify from here. Now it's working. That's our work is finished. Your VLAN routing is also done. So out create a new local user and reset configuration. Okay. Create for this well, I'll create the one user for read only. For that system go for system and administrator. Create new administrator. Okay. Then software. I'll create the software user SUPP. What is software? Password also support as you be anti support as you be anti support any administrative profile is super admin but read only this user will only get the read only access and log out then as you and log in from support support so click on next Done so again. Okay. From software user, we only read, not create. So only we can view. This is the view option. So we can only view the configuration. Our last work is admin. Admin. This is our super admin user. We we can also change the password from here. We change the password from here. We can change the password from here. So our last function is we share the configuration. So we share the all this configuration we did. For that, we share the configuration. So but the the side to save the configuration config. System global set CFC set CFC save automatic also you can automatic so you set the whole configuration execute factory set okay execute factory set Yes. Then it will reset the whole configuration and reboot the file for the firewall. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.